One of the most important features an app can have is sharing and we will look at how we can share files and text, for example, to social media, so we can share it to WhatsApp and also to other applications on your device. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to get started by sharing first of all some text to other applications. Therefore, I have created here already a text field and a button. And now if we click on this button here on the right side, then we want to call here this share.share. .share. And here inside you need to put a string and this is then the shared text to the other application. And to make this work, you also need to go to your pubspec jaml file and put here the dependency share under your dependencies inside. Let's also try it out. I have typed here a message inside of this text field. So I click here on this button share and I select here, for example, messages. And you see that he puts then here this data inside, which we have typed before. And this works also for other apps. So you have here every time the sharing menu, then you select WhatsApp and then you can also share it to WhatsApp easily. If you also set here links inside of this text, then in some social media apps, you see then here this pop-up like WhatsApp and then later the people can click on this video, for example, which you linked within your message. And lastly, we also want to catch here some errors. So let's say there is nothing typed inside, then we don't want to share our text. And therefore I simply check here the controller.txt, which is linked up with this text field. And if our text field is empty, then we want to show here a snack bar, which says enter a caption. And otherwise we want to call here then this share dialog to share our text. We also want to look at how we can share some files to other applications. And this is also pretty easy. So you can share videos, PDFs and so on. And therefore we go here to our share button widget, which is in this button here. And if we click on this one, then we want to pick some files from our phone. And therefore I create a new method, pick files. And here inside we basically call this file picker platform pick files. And this is also a plugin, which we need to integrate inside of our passback jaml file. So make sure that you put this file picker here inside under your dependencies. If you later have some issues with this file picker, then you need to go to Android and then you select the build gradle file. And here inside, make sure that you put this version number inside. So you have here the dependencies where you need to put this inside. And secondly, you also need to go here inside of this gradle wrapper folder. And here inside you have this gradle wrapper preferences. And here at the end, you also need to set this number. So make sure that you put this here inside. And now we are good to go and we can continue here within our pick files method. Here inside, you can define if you want to share multiple files. And in this case, I put it here to true so I can share multiple files to other applications on this device. Otherwise, by default, if you don't put this inside, then you only share one file. And lastly, we return here this result.pass. And this returns then the path of all the files which we have picked. So basically, if we call here this method, then our file dialog on our device will pop up and you can basically select here some files. And if you have set here this allow multiple to true, you can select here multiple files. Otherwise, you can only select one file. And secondly, we also want to check here if the result is null. And if that's the case, then we return here an empty list. And this can be null if the user doesn't pick any files. So he comes to this dialog and if he navigates back, then this returns here null. Now that we have finished the file picking process, we can also continue and share our files to other apps. Therefore, after we have picked our files, we call this method share files. And here inside we put then the files which we have picked from our library. And here we can also supply a text if you like. And here inside we put then simply the text of our text field. Let's also try it out. So I have here text inside. I click on share. Then I need to allow it. And here I can select then a file which I like to share. And then this dialog here will pop up. And then you basically can select the app to which you want to share your data. 
And at the end, we also want to make sure that we have files because if this here is empty, then we don't want to share our files. And therefore I simply wrap it here inside of the condition. And if our paths are empty, then we want to show here an error message, which says add some files. Otherwise we will share here our files with this method. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.